Guys, welcome to the last Jamaica vlog. Oh, it's going to be an action packed one. We're going home, and today we're doing Jam West. Today we're doing horseback riding, ATV, and zip lining. But I have overslept, so um, I need to get my shizzle in gear and get going because otherwise I'm going to miss my transfer, and I don't need that. So. Shan, pedal to the metal, let's get, I don't even know what I'm wearing, I didn't even get my outfit out last night, I am so unprepared today, okay guys, I'm so unprepared, I am still in a state coma, still in a state coma, so Shan, decide what you're wearing, check what you think, because it said that I needed a driving license, so I do have my driver's license luckily, but I'm going to take it and see what on earth that's for, but yeah, Let's go be adventurous and do the adrenaline part. I need to wake up, don't I? <laughs> Tip the buggy over. Thankfully, I had a tour guide that helped me for the rest of them, and we went off beaten tracks, everything. But yeah, ATV is hard. Now I'm off. I don't know what one I'm off to, but see this. Oh my god, we just threw zip lining. Don't put me on a roller coaster, put me on a zip line. We've done eight. Mm. So good, I could do it again. If people can see the difference between me on a roller coaster and a zip line, You'd be very surprised. A day I couldn't really feel much for Jam West because when we got there you had to put everything into a locker and people did take it with them but I'm not risking because I'm quite clumsy and I'm thinking <laughs> I'm bound to get something dropped or something lost I'm just, I'm not about that. So um, everything went into my locker. You would have just seen like a few little video clips from where I like tried to come out from between the two excursions or three excursions and was like, oh my God, I've done this, la, 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 la. Wow. Jam West is an experience and a half. And also very, very quick with the photos. I've had the photos all through already. So I'm very, very happy about that because they are hilarious if I do say so myself, especially the ATV. Um, let's start off with the ATV, shall we? So I knew that they was like big quads. I didn't realize how hard they would be to turn. Sorry if I'm thingy, I feel like I'm covered in sand still from the ATV. That's why I was like, no, I need a nice bath. I've got my laptop set up here because I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube while I'm in the bath. But yeah, so um, I've got on this ATV started it you have your safety thing and it's like right that way for yes that way for break well i started i went to turn the wheel and i'm like <laughs> i couldn't turn the wheel guys it was so so hard and these handlebars are big okay i'm trying to like keep my modesty down here but the handlebars were so big and they were so stiff to turn and I was like crap I can't do this I done one lap out of the four 
and at the end of the first lap there was a bit where like you took a drop but well, I couldn't turn my wheel so instead of taking the drop there I just went there and kind of went doink and almost fell out of my buggy I had two of the tour guys running towards me miss 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 it was like what's happened I was like I don't know I can't turn these things and there was an American guy he reminded me of um, one of the men that I spoke to last year on the ziplining trip. And he was like, what happened? And I was like, I don't know. And so the tour guy said, do you want to jump on with your husband? And I was like, I don't know that man. I was like, I'm here on my own. So I ended up having a tour guide, which was probably the better option because all the things they tell you, don't tailgate, don't do donuts. Well, this guy was doing everything. Like when I say I was clinging on for dear life, though, on the back of this bike, I was clinging on for dear life and um, it was quite funny because like you went through the sand part then you went like down on the ocean by the beach bit that was lovely then you come back around then you went through like the bit of the muddy bit and it was like oh but I said I feel it would definitely be easier if you was in a two-person buggy because that had a proper steering wheel and I assume it'd be like clutch not clutch uh, brake and accelerate on the pedals the buggies are not like that the ATVs ain't so I was like right Next time, whenever we try these, I'm going to have my partner drive because I'm going to be hopeless. But I'll see if we can get like a double buggy. And so um, I was telling him about it earlier and he's like, that's fine, we can do that. He's like, did you actually drop? I was like, I dropped. I said, as soon as I got around the first bend, I thought, oh no. And when you see the pictures, there's like two where I am actually driving it. And the first I look petrified and then I see the man and I'm like, hmm, trying to get the nice picture. And then the other two, I'm like sitting there like, that's where like the tour guide had parked me up and then quickly jumped off so I could have my picture. <laughs> I was like, oh God. But um, that was that was still fun. It was a great little experience. And then we done the zip lining. Oh guys, zip lining I feel is like my new adrenaline rush. Like we all know, I'm not really a fan of roller coasters, but I'm getting there. Me and my partner, he took us to park twice. I don't feel as sick now coming off of them, but I'm I'm still a baby when it comes to roller coasters. Like he's telling me like Orton Towers, Chessington, America, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, darling, just slow down one minute. I like to be at Thought Park on the Flying Fish, but I do like Swarm. Oh, it's not me, it's me a uh, Tootsie squeaking in the bath. The zip line, I think it was seven or eight zip lines like the tallest little points in the area that was so good like i was literally up there like who wants to go first i'm like bam let me there right hooked up run and jump i loved it i absolutely love zip lining and i really really want to do the one in wales but the one in wales like you're laying down flat so this one you are sitting down and then like you stretch your legs out similar to what i done the same style in dominican but the wales one you're like hooked up but you're like almost like a superman so that would be a different experience i would love to do that so that is definitely on the agenda for maybe next year who knows but i love that like i got to the end and i was like i want to do that all again i want to do that all again like now and then had a little bit of a break and then i done my horseback riding now I thought, oh, the jets are starting to warm up. The um, I thought that the horse riding would be. They said it takes you to the ocean, so I'm like, okay. I thought you just like trot along the seafront. That's what I done when I done it in Greece many years ago. No, he started to take me out, and I'm thinking, oh, he's getting a little deep now. Oh, he's getting no. We like fully went in till like the horse was practically covered in the water. I didn't have my swimsuit on. I had my gym shorts on, my underwear and my top. My gym shorts and underwear were soaked through. I'm like, great. Thank goodness I remembered and had the brain capacity to change into my water shoes for my trainers. Um, but by the time we come out and got back to the stables, I was dry. It was very, very hot. Um, I'm so glad that I had a short. You would have seen my little sunflower one. I'm so glad I had that because if I didn't, I'd have burnt like a whoo because it was hot out there today and on there we stopped off when we was on the ocean point and he was um doing the seeded grapes like what they grow on the sea they're called sea grapes or ocean grapes but they've got a pip in the middle 
very very nice and he was like saying about like local produce and everything like that and like they don't live off anything processed and i was like that's, that's the way to be that is a very good life as i was sitting there and telling my partner whilst eating a bag of cheetos still <laughs> I'm making them Cheetos last guys, I'm making them last. I've just asked the butler what my room tab is because I want to start working out monies. I want to start out working monies to see what I've got left to play with for souvenirs. Because tonight I'm feeling I'm gonna try the buffet. I am gonna try the buffet. But then part of me, see this is naughty. Part of me wants to go back to the Japanese restaurant, but just for starters. Because them starters were absolutely amazing. But then I really like the fish tacos at Armadillo. And I love the crab cake at Calypso. I feel like I want to eat everything. Because tomorrow I've got my culinary experience. So tomorrow is going to be get up. Pack. I need to start packing first thing in the morning. Otherwise I'm not going to do it. Start to pack. Get the most of it done or literally just get it in the case. Maybe catch the sun for a few hours and then at one o'clock I have had time with Brogan. We'll have a good old catch up. And then I have to be in the spa for two. I have hydrotherapy again. And then at three for 80 minutes I have my massage. And then come out of there and at half six I have my culinary experience. So. I've got quite a lot of stuff going on tomorrow, but as I say, I need to get up first thing is like, start packing, it's just putting... I don't want to pack! I said to my partner, I was like, I'm not putting it all in the packing cubes, because he very kindly helped me pack, and he's amazing at packing, like, Jesus Christ, I couldn't... He had it all in the cubes, and I was like, yeah, mine's well just getting chucked in. I was like, a few things I need to wrap up because obviously I can't put my rum bottles in my hand luggage because they're over 100 mil. But my glasses and that I want with me. But I'm also thinking tonight, or do I wait until tomorrow? I really want to go back to the jewellery store. I spoke to Mama Bay and Mum was like, look, you do you. And I'm thinking, you know what, Mummy, I'm going to do me. But then I get carried away. So I'm not too sure. But for now, I'm going to have a nice relaxing bath. I'm going to chill out and then have a slow little get ready for dinner. However many restaurants I end up in. <sighs> no, it's because I'm thinking some are next door to each other. So you literally can't go out of one and then into the other. Can you? So I wish I'd see. But yeah, I think I'm going to wipe the air corner on actually. Because I'm kind of slightly melting in the bath here. And then I'll watch a bit of YouTube. And then we're just going to chill for a little, okay? See you in a bit. I'm going for a no makeup look today. We normally always have one on a night out on holiday. I mean, not night out, but like for a food night. I just cannot, I cannot be bothered. I'm actually really tired after all of that um, zip lining and horseback riding and ATV. I just feel very, very sleepy. But I'm like, no, get yourself up and get out to the buffet because you haven't tried it yet. And tomorrow I have my culinary experience, but I might still pop into the buffet after because it's Jamaica night. So I think we're going to go with that. So yes, I am um, au natural today on my face. Look at that. I've just got a little bit of lip balm. And that's it. We've got no slap, no lashes. But this is a jumpsuit from Primark. You would have seen. And of course, I've paired it with my Primark heels. So yeah, hair up because we all know humidity is... And we've just gone like this. It's very weird to see myself of an evening without makeup. Like, I'm looking at myself right now like... oh, But... I mean, I think I've caught the sun a little on my face. It's not a lot. My cheeks are just very rosy and it's brought three freckles out. But yeah, I thought, you know what? Because I'm going to go to the buffet. So I just want to be comfy and I might detour to another restaurant on the way back. It all depends how much. Or I was thinking of coming back and just ordering room service. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But as you can see, their laptop is exporting. I have edited another video. Woohoo! Go me! I mean, talk about being a productive, you know? So, um, yes, let's go down and see what the buffet's got to offer. Because I don't know. Apparently, it's supposed to be really good, but I get really overwhelmed when there's like loads of different stations. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be, but tomorrow is culinary. Oh, God, look at me here like that. 
and tomorrow is culinary at half six so you know what i probably could like come out and then just detour into another restaurant whether that be the steakhouse or no if i was going to do another one i think i would do armadillo the tex mix because i'm going to do the asian again tonight or, or i could do pasta i could do that italian you watch tomorrow i'm going to go to like three restaurants just to, just to make up the thing they'll look at the thing and be like room 2009 was at three restaurants last night yes yes she was so um yeah let's go and see what i think they call it gourmet marche which is like the big buffet really let's see what that has to offer <laughs> can't see me but these sunsets are just oh I cannot wait for next year as I say next year is St Lucia to go and see what that one's are like because these I love Dominican but I feel that Jamaica just has a totally different vibe and I just saw the sunset and I just got a bit like mm. Because I think next year, the holiday is going to be so, so different, but in a good way different. It's going to be a joint holiday, it'll be our first one together. And yeah, I'm just really excited. But now for food. I think of the a la carte, 
lot a lot smaller. Here it's a lot bigger. And I don't know, I just feel really out of place here, but my servers are lovely, like the way it's an adorable person, but I just feel I don't know, I feel really lonely tonight. And I think it's the second from last night. And things have happened at home that I've just been made aware of. And I don't know, I just feel, I feel like I can cry things, but I'm not going to. It's not that I've got makeup to ruin, but I want to go and get some pasta. So I'm going to drink pasta and drink. No, I'm going to eat pasta and drink wine. Where's the effect? Decir que te amo, pero no sé si estoy mezclando una vez más Lo que me das y lo que quiero De pronto esta ya no sea mi realidad No sé si es amor de ser dessert guys that's the first time I've had dessert the whole goddamn holiday but yeah I've had a lot of wine I had a good buffet mix and then I had pasta and the woman she hooked me up on the pasta she gave me a good big bowl of farfalli I had alfredo sauce salmon parmesan and then you see I went and added some more of the octopus salad because mm, that was calling my name but I'm very sleepy tonight. I don't know why. I just feel very emotional tonight. I feel very sleepy. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's coming to the end of the last solo holiday, maybe. I don't know. I mean, there probably is going to be more solo trips. I'm not always going to be with Mama G. I'm not always going to be with my partner. I will still go off and do things on my own so I don't know I just feel different tonight there's something I don't know something isn't hitting right maybe it's because I've got packed tomorrow maybe because the stuff's going on at home I'm not too sure but yeah it's been a good one however mm. I don't know, it's just been one of them nights, so we'll see, we'll see how it is. My bed has been done. Yay! Has this uploaded? No. Great, oh, five minutes left. Okay, I made it just back in time. Oh. Guys, 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 what is up with me tonight? You would have seen me when I was on the um, food time lapse. You would have seen me waffling away. It was, um, there's a Asian couple, well, two sets of couples that I was on the Appleton tour with. And oh my God, they are just hilarious. And the two guys come over like, I only thought they was in the 
fifties and their late sixties. And like they were telling me all places like to travel around America and India and everywhere like that. And um, I was sitting there like, as I say, casually stuffing my face. And um, oh, let's bring you down a bit. Casually stuffing my face. And I saw the two guys and they was like, hey. So they come over, we had a chat, they leave tomorrow. So I was like, safe flight back, hope you're well. They was like, we're gonna find you on YouTube. He's like, well, I've screenshotted your name. I was like, it's fine, it's okay. But um, yeah, they were lovely and I waved over to see their wives and say like, have a nice flight. But they were so funny, honestly. They made the Pelican Bar and Appleton. They was, oh, Cannon. There we go. They actually made that trip for me they was hilarious even in the coach they was hilarious but yeah i don't know why i think with the a la carte so the a la carte restaurants are big but obviously they're smaller to the main buffet the main buffet can i just say was i could eat that octopus salad all day every day absolutely divine I left there, started walking over, and one of the room service, like, little cart things, they said, where are you going? I was like, block two. They said, like, do you want to ride? I was like, no, I need to work off that um, pasta I've just had. So I was like, okay, as long as you're sure, miss. I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. But yeah, I don't know why. It was, the buffet itself is absolutely huge, and such variety, and just perfect stuff, to be honest. But, I don't know why, I just felt really out of place there, like, I was on my phone at the table, which I don't normally do, normally I set the iPad up and I'll watch like a documentary or something on YouTube, or I'll have my Kindle, but I was on my phone scrolling TikTok, and I don't know why, as I say, it's just, I don't know, I don't know if it's because things going on at home, or... This could be like the last big, big holiday on my own. As I say, I'm sure there'll be times when my partner don't want to do things and Mama G don't want to do things. And I'll be like, you know what, guys? Let's go out for a solo trip again. I feel like that's not going to change. But I don't know. I don't know. I know I need to pack. That really does put me in a dampener. I mean, you would have seen it from last year. It's like packing. I'm just like, ooh. No, it's not a bit of me. It's not a bit of me at all. But. I don't know, guys. I just feel one of them nights. Dread to step on them scales later. Oh, God. What step on them Friday? Right, I'm not eating nothing tomorrow until my culinary experience at half six. Maybe I might finish off my Cheetos. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna go back and my partner's gonna be like, What has happened to you? He would have. I said to him earlier, I was like, You do realise? I was like, I'll probably put a good bit of weight on. He was like, And. You're on holy bob to enjoy yourself. I was like, I know, but I've got to work all this off. And we'll probably work it off to then go Iceland and stuff our face for the three days. Three nights, four days? Something like that. And then I'll have to try and get in shape for Christmas. And then Christmas will come around. <laughs> and then it'll be New Year. Oh my goodness, guys. Where is this year going? Like, Canon? Hey. Thank you. Where is this year going? Like, literally flying by. Literally flying by. Oh, oh. Also got to say, one of, like, my go-to products now for travelling, I've had it, it's always been clipped to my hand luggage. One of my lovelies actually sent me a few, like, little gifts for holiday. And one of them was, like, a little tiny travel case for, like, your headphones or leads or whatever oh my god absolute game changer when you're on the plane because i can put my headphones in there i can put a usb cable in there and i can also put a spare set of wired headphones absolutely amazing she knows who she is because she messaged and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry that i forgot to reply to you but um 
yes thank you very much for that that has well and truly been like an absolute lifesaver to me so you guys know me too well but i think what i'm gonna do i did end up at the japanese restaurant no i think i had too much at the buffet and far too much wine my partner's calling me at about quarter past nine so I've got 45 minutes, I need to make sure I don't fall asleep. Or at least if I fall asleep, fall asleep and then wake up when he calls. Who knows, who knows. But I'm going to round out today, my lovelies. Tomorrow is like the penultimate day, okay? Penultimate. What do I think it holds in store? A bit of tanning. Good little bit of tanning, yes. Thinking maybe going in my pool again, just for relaxation. Spa, first time with Brogan. Get ready for culinary experience. And then back here. Well, I might detour to another few restaurants, but um, yeah. I'm going to sign out on this one, okay? So we shall see you tomorrow on thursday yeah thursday no we're not signing out on thursday old shannon lee signing out today and tomorrow is thursday that's what Good morning oh i don't know i'm gonna have to see the footage when i edit this back because i don't know if you can hear that but i was woke up this morning we've had a new um room next door and when I say they've been blaring music out in the morning, it's been blaring. So I don't know if it's going to pick up, but the main thing, guys, I've been bit to life. Look at this. Look at my leg. That is just through the night. I have been bit to absolute oblivion today. And I'm not really here for it. So waking up with that and then being woke up with music, I was like, okay okay um yeah i'm like i'm actually ready for home now because i think i don't know it seems to be a lot more like i don't know like the vibe here as i say the first week and so i got here it was very chilled and then now i had for the past four days a family above and when i tell you i thought i was back at home the noise of children running up and down, things being dropped, doors being slammed, the furniture being dragged. I was like, I actually feel like I'm being at home. And yesterday the butler said to me, oh, we can move you rooms. And I was like, I literally go in two days. I'm not packing everything to have to unpack for like one day. And then now with this lot next door, guys, I tell you, if I'd have just got here or been like a week in, I would have been like, you need to move me because... I get everyone's on holiday and you want to have your music on, that's fine. But you can have your music just for your thing. You didn't have to have it so that the whole block can hear it. And I think, like, obviously, if they've got Littlands upstairs, they're probably not going to be best pleased. But I am my leg. I'm absolutely annoyed because I've literally just cleared up all my nap bites. And then I've been bit to smithereens. So that's great. I think what I'm going to do is go down for a bit of breakfast I'm going to pop a towel on because I want to get a little bit of sunbathing done. Get me towel down. Go for some breakfast. I'm really fancying that um, eggs benedict again. That is a lovely little breakfast. Or maybe I should try the buffet. Guys, should we go to the buffet today? I was going to do the buffet tomorrow, but I feel I might do the gourmet tomorrow because I want to try the French toast and pancakes. And I'm not really in a sweet mood this morning. Let's go to the buffet, okay? We'll go to the buffet breakfast. I won't take the camera. I'll just take my phone. And then we'll come back. We're going to have like a chill day. We're going to do a bit of tanning. I'm going to probably come in about 12-ish. Start to pack. And as I say, when I say start to pack, I mean, you see like that table over there. Just swipe it into the suitcase. That's where that's going to go. And then I've got a call with Brogan at one. I've got to be in the spa for two. Because I'm having me uh, hydrotherapy. And then at three, I've got me massage. And then at half six, I have my culinary experience. And I think after the culinary experience, I'm going to pop into 
the jewelry store i think that tonight is the time tonight is the time for the jewelry store okay so yes i let's go for the buffet breakfast and have a nice final day i was actually going to um film a video this morning and then obviously i can't if there's that music because i want you to film it over by the pool area but yes yeah, so um the upload i think for what should have been today will be tomorrow i'll film it tonight when hopefully they're quiet because I really hope that they're not people who have like loud, loud music late at night. Because I need to sleep. I've got to be up and recouping for tomorrow. I've had my transfer details. I need to be at my pickup point. Which I'm not too sure. I don't know if it's that lobby or the main lobby. I'll have to ask. Um, for 11 o'clock. Ay, ay, ay. But yes, I'm going to get myself ready. Get out of this. Because I won't even care. It's not good music. Like, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Shan, wake up. Let's go get some food. Toda la gravedad, tú tan hermoso y no te ofrezco nada. Solo recibo y no te puedo dar lo que tú quieras, baby. La verás, aunque bebé, yo te llené de Dios. No se arregla esta relación. Lo que yo puedo es pedir perdón, porque no siento lo que sientes vos. Toma la actitud que yo tengo hacia ti. Yo me pongo inseguro cuando. <sighs> that is hot out there today hot i've just got back in i've put my bikini and towel out because i don't want them wet for when i have to pack i'm not going to pack until tonight after dinner i think because it is now about five to one i have my facetime with brogan at one we're going to sit chat put the world to rights have a good old gossip i'm going to actually finish off my cheetos i feel that's a very symbolic movement finishing off my shoot as well on FaceTime with her like she will appreciate that I'm taking that time to be with her and eat my Cheetos and I appreciate the time we are very we're very very busy women but we always make sure we have like a FaceTime at least once a fortnight so that I'm looking forward to and then straight after that I need to get ready for the spa and then I don't know if you'll see much in the spa again because say it's very like zen and chill then I have my massage be back from the massage i'll check in with you then let you know how it was probably try not to fall asleep and have tons of uh, emails emails alarm set and then it'll be getting ready for the culinary experience which i'm very very looking forward to and then potentially a detour to the diamond store oh and look at that that is my girl see you in a bit oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me relaxation room you would have seen i just had a little dip in the pool and this is like where you come just for the lady who's sanitizing the area before the massage and then we're given like this warming pillow it smells really nice but it's bloody hot and i don't know if you can tell by my face i'm sweating buckets so um yeah it's very calming though this room is just like zen i feel after this i'm gonna want to go to sleep but I can't because I need to get ready for dinner. But uh, yes, I have my Kindle here. I've been reading plenty of that. And yeah, I'm in my robe. We all know I love a good robe. And then look, I've got these little cute pillars just to chill on. And I'm getting ready for 80 minutes of pure, pure bliss. Oh, <laughs> look at the state of my hair. Oh my god, 80 minutes flew by. Ah, I 
you're so sleepy now. <laughs> oh, guys, that was lovely. I do, though, however, you know, like, when you just need to have a shower after because you've got all, like, the oil was, like, I'm literally slipping and sliding. And it was funny because when she, um, I took off, like, the towel, which to do one of my legs, she was like, oh, my God, the bugs have got you. I was like, yep, I am sweet, mate, apparently, because... They have not left me alone. But it's there. Uh, just go five. Oh, God. I really need to wake up. And I think I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to start getting ready about half five. Because they say for the culinary experience to be there about 15 minutes before. So I need to be down there for four plus six. So I'm like, here is going to be a dry shampoo day. I think dry shampoo and maybe up. I'm not too sure. God, look at her. Red and flushed on. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, oh, that was so, so worth it. So yeah, I'm going to jump in the shower and then get ready for, I'm really excited. This is a seven course with wine tasting culinary experience. So if you remember last year in Dominican, I done, what did I do? I done like a, oh, kids are back upstairs. Uh, I done a culinary why is there loads of water everywhere? Why has something flooded? I don't know if my sink's flooded. Might have to call Huey to look at that. But um, yeah, I feel like my sink is flooded. Oh, well, I'll call the butler. Um, yeah, I'm just like, i done it in Dominican where I had like a, they called it like a gastronomy experience. But I have no idea what this is. So I say seven courses with wine. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm sure it's not rubbing because you're going to have to start getting ready, girl. It's averted. Don't know what was leaking, but it's all been fixed. All my towels have been fixed. And then the butler came in and was like, do you do chips? So I was like, yes, I do. I actually not had a pack of lays this whole time I've been on holiday. The one good thing, I don't snack in my room. I feel like that could be different next year because my partner does love a good snack, sweet and savoury. But all I've had is my pack of Cheetos for my snacks. So let's have a look. Barbecue lays. Not bad. Not bad. He was like, did you get my message about picking you up tonight at 20 past 10? I was like, oh. Mm. Yes, I did. When you come in, I'm just helping me with that. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just editing with my can of red stripe. I said, I'm trying to get ready before quarter past six. He was like, okay. When you come back, he was like, you can have a little snack while you're getting ready. I was like, hmm, thank you. But yeah, it's also Jamaican night. So... I might swing by there later, you might see a little bit of footage, because it's like an open buffet, apparently. I mean, depending after the seven courses, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat much. However, we can always look. And I'm definitely going to swing by the diamond store. Tonight is the night. Whether I get anything is a different question, because I actually didn't ask the prices, but... Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Nice little wedding and snack, if I say so much. Ta da! Final night, guys! Oh! How? How? This is another Shein number. <laughs> My holiday wardrobe has pretty much been Shein, and I've already got bits and bobs for next year because there was bits that I couldn't decide on this year. And when we was going through them, my partner was like, oh, that would be nice for next year. And I'm like, you know what? I've pretty much got half of my outfits done already. Am I still going to buy stuff? Probably. But I've gone for this because it's nice and flowy. It's nice and flowy. And as I say, comfort. Comfort is key. Yes, that's what I was going to say. So I'm looking a little bit more bronzed. I don't know why. I must have picked up a little bit of a tan today. But this is the outfit for the last night, guys. What do we think? Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm loving these white stiletto heels because I feel like it actually makes me look like I've got legs. The um, white play suit I had, I looked at the photos of them and I was like, oh my god, you actually look tall. 
you don't look short for once. So um, yes, I am so, so excited. I also think that I might detour and go to the gift shop and then I can pack the souvenirs in as well. So I've just totted up a rough bit of money. I haven't got a lot left, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so hopefully I don't spend too much in the gift shop. But yeah, we're gonna have a lovely evening, very sophisticated evening, let's say. I think it's gonna be really nice. And let's then come back, we're gonna pack, and I might even treat myself to room service because I feel like I'm gonna be needing it after. But yeah, last night, guys, can you believe it? The last night of Jamaica. Sure, I'm sure everything makes sense. 
night. Guys, I'm gonna fill you in on the restaurant tomorrow morning because it's half ten. It went on later than I thought. Uh, I haven't packed. I'm gonna pack in the morning. But I've just walked in and I thought, what on earth is going on? So, first off, I walked into this. There's a freaking galaxy projector in my room, okay? And then, I have all this on my bed. <laughs> I heart you, sweet Jamaica. And then here there's a little towel and it says, have from Huey your amazing butler, good night. <laughs> I walked in and I was on um, FaceTime to my partner and I was like, so you're telling me he's had a galaxy projector this whole time and on my last night, I get it. But now I've got to clear all these marbles off. So <laughs> it's half 10, as I say. I'm going to be up at about half three tomorrow. We'll have our morning chat and I'm going to pack tomorrow. Dada's just messaged me, being like, oh, Gatwick's having problems. I'm like, I really don't need to know this right now. And I've just looked and they said that there's like air traffic control problems and that um, flights have been delayed or cancelled. And I'm like, please no, because I need to be back tomorrow because my partner's booked loads of stuff for the weekend. So I'm like, <laughs> please don't say this. So yeah. This is my um, setup. I'm actually, I think, could I? I might even leave the um, galaxy light on. Because you know, I love my galaxy light at home. I wonder if I turn the. No, turn that one off. <gasps> Guys, I think I might just sleep with the galaxy light on tonight. How freaking cute. But yes, food was amazing. And so I will fill you all in tomorrow. I need to pack tomorrow, which is going to be a disaster. And yeah, that is how we're going to go. But last night in Jamaica. It's the final morning. Oh. And guess what? Shan slept in her makeup last night. Rookie error, I know. Where are my face wipes? I can't find my face wipes. <laughs> Guys! Ah. Oh, there they are. Oh! The morning to pack, which I'm not really looking forward to. I've currently got everything on charge at the moment. And. Oh! I can't believe I'm unpacking already, like really, I really, really can't believe it. I'm going to go and wipe, so I'm going to do a bit of me cleansing balm, a bit of me eye remover because I've got glue and everything, but I've been up since about half three, I had my call with my partner and then Dada messaged and said, oh, Gatwick's knackered. And I'm like, oh, no. So um, he quickly called and he said, it only seems to be easy, Jay. He said, well, I'll keep track of the flights, make sure that you're off and you're landing at Gatwick. Because <laughs> apparently planes are getting diverted. So I'm like, oh, goodness gracious. Um, but, uh, yeah. Woke up. I then ended up drifting back off. I'm just actually going to spritz my face because I can't bother to wet it. Oh, and um, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm still trying to wake up. Oh, and then I ended up falling back asleep. And now it's um, about half five. Gift shop opens at seven. I call my partner at seven because that's when he's on break. So I'm hoping that I can get packed by seven. I've got everything on charge, so power bank's on charge. My Kindle, I don't think, needs to be charged. My Kindle actually holds good charge. I've got my iPad on charge, and then the last bit will, of course, be um, my phone and everything like that. I need more water, don't I? Yes, let me get a thing for guys. Is anyone else on me? They have to, like, leave just an absolute, like, mess. Because... I, the way I do my packing so that I don't forget anything is that I work from the front of the room backwards so 
I'll clear out them drawers, put it over on the sitting down lounge bit, and then I'll work through like dirty washing, clean washing. Ah, there's actually not a lot of stuff that I haven't worn. So I have actually been really good this year with my packing. Because normally I have like loads of stuff that I don't end up wearing, but oh god, just spilling water everywhere. And then I think what I'll do is once I have been actually no, I might have a I wanna have a quick shower before because I've got a long day of travelling and I know I'm just gonna like feel grimy. So I'm thinking pack shower leave the case open go to the gift shop go to the gift shop and um get my last few bits of bob see now i don't know because my gift shop's really expensive and i don't know whether to hold out and wait at the airport and see if it's cheaper but then if not i've messed myself up so I've got a few bits I've got to get, like magnets for people and everything like that. So I think I'm going to do that. How are we looking? Oh God, you look awful. <laughs> and yeah, so I need to like work my way backwards. So I think what I'll do is we'll put it all on the table in there. Oh, now my glasses are all misty. We'll work it out, put the table on there open the cases up, chuck it in and um, see where we go from there because yeah it's not going to be any nice packing guys I said the only thing that's going in a packing queue is stuff that I haven't worn so actually you know what should I see now because I'm just thinking oh I don't want to I want like all the dirty washing together so do I just jump in the shower now That might be the more sensible idea, no? Jumping in the shower now. Come on, Shay, get your thinking cap on. God damn my glass. I need to get my glasses sorted. I think I'm gonna jump in the shower now. I'm gonna jump in the shower and then that way I'm at I can put I still don't know what I'm wearing actually to the airport. I'm thinking just putting like I'm also gonna have is a hoodie around us because when it gets a bit chilly. I'm thinking just like my tube skirt because it's comfy. And then a vest top. But then I need to put like all my little souvenirs, like my bands and all that together because you know, I'm a sucker for a little band. Right, Shan, jump in the shower. Right, all showered. Now, as I say, we're working our way through areas to pack. So I've cleared out everything from that. And I also like to leave all the drawers in that open just so I know, because otherwise I'm getting a right to it. Like. So now I'm doing my toiletries, but I can't pack this as good as my partner. He is very, very, how did he do this? He done it standing up, didn't he? Right, hold on a minute. Let's see. I'm not going to do it as good as him. He had it all standing up, all lovely. I do want to take an after sun back with me because it's always handy just to like try and maintain the tan. But, oh, I might do all right. I mean, I haven't got half as much of the stuff to pack in there, but hey ho. I'll be like, are you proud of me? I cannot believe that it is over though now guys like literally where has the time gone got rosina's mitt in there i think i'll just pop me um hair bits in there as well take me lip balm you know what that's not too shabby i'm quite proud of myself for that the only thing is now like i actually get really kind of, i get very stressed putting stuff in the case that's where i'm going to have a little bit of a meltdown i think so um yes wish me luck because the only thing that i'm putting in the packing tubes is the odd few clothes that i haven't worn but then i was going to put my big bit with all of my souvenirs there and then i just remember showing you've got to get all the rum out can't take rum through so i'm like oh 
damage. So yeah, bit by bit guys, okay? Bit. seems to be more heavier than when I packed it because I've got less stuff in it. I also need to lock it up and I also then need to put the bands around it. So to say it's like a little bit, let's move you around, a little bit stressful is an understatement because I genuinely do not know how it can be more heavier and yet I have half the toiletries. All I have in there is a few extra bottles of rum. And it's two normal and three baby ones. Like, literally, it's not like I'm taking litres and litres home. So I don't quite know. And I can't do these things. My partner just said to me on the thing, he's like, are you gonna be all right locking it up and all that? I was like, well, I'm gonna have to be. Because he was the one that done all of it for me. And I'm like, well, oh, I'm going to have to. I can't, like, not do it. And he was like, okay, well, just be careful. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's one in. I'm, like, really paranoid with my locks. So I have, like, double locks, which you probably think Shan is a bit excessive. Yes, it probably is. But, um, yeah, I just get a little bit, I don't know, I get a little bit worried. So I double lock everything. But I can't. Right, they need to go in the purse because if I lose my keys, heaven forbid, that's just going to be a disaster all over. Right, so they can go in the side. I've got my electricals and my liquids in the bag there. I'm going to put that in with the money, and then I need to band it because the scales I put in my hand luggage, so that's fine. But I need to band them and I can't remember which way they was banded. Was it? Oh, hang on a minute. Right, that might be that way. And then this should be the longer bit. 
chuck it through there. Uh, what did I do? No. Oh, why is it twist? Oh, I've got it on backwards, guys. Ugh, twist round. Ugh. Oh, uh, why is something so simple yet so hard? And now I can't remember, did I put it under or? No, I would have put it under. Did I? Oh god, that's not going round. Oh jeez Louise, right. Did I put it? No, I would have put it under. I say I would have put it under. I had no involvement with this. There we go. And then that goes there. That's on there. Name and luggage is there. It's just the weight of it. I don't know how it's like that, guys. I really don't. Um, I'm leaving some of them bits here. The only things I need to put in are the last few bits of electricals. But apart from that, I'm pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do now is take myself off to the gift shop. Oh God, I found an eye off of the little thing last night. Take myself off to the gift shop. Leave that on charge. And then, yeah, I'm going to start doing like a final swoop as well. You know, we're just like leaving everything open because I'm like, oh, we just said um, our final goodbye because it's our final FaceTime. He's at work and he's like, right, I'm going to get some kit. I'll come get you when it's ready. He's like, I've got live updates on the tracking. I'm like, okay. Um, and I was like, can you believe it's actually like the last... FaceTime, like I remember the first one where like I obviously got here late and it was like 1 a.m. his side. And I was like, I've got here. I was like, and now we're like, okay, we're going. And he was like, I cannot wait to see you. I was like, I'll be here soon. Well, he's got it on a countdown app and it's like he's like 16 hours, so many minutes and seconds. I'm like, okay. So I am now gonna go gift shop, so I'm gonna leave the camera here and I won't show you what I get because I'll probably do like a round up of it once I'm back to be honest. So uh yeah. Let's go to the gift shop and see what we can spend our money on. Also, going to pop by the diamonds. Whether I get any, because my partner was like, Shan, you do realise they're expensive? And I'm like, I've got no idea. I don't know, so we'll see. We'll see when I come back if I've picked anything up. Won't be a bit. Oh, guys. It's safe to say I will not be getting any diamonds. I must be um, out of touch with how much diamonds cost during the wonk. Oh God. Um, I was thinking going in maybe like 500 quid. I thought that, that is like a good amount I would think for a diamond. No, the emerald ring. So I wanted something emerald because I thought Jamaica, like Isle of Green, Emerald's my birthstone. Let's go with it. They had a band that was really nice, but I don't know how I feel with bands. I feel bands are only like for like eternity rings or engagement rings and wedding bands, everything like that. So there was a band and then there was one. It was a half a carat emerald in the middle and then a quarter of a carat of diamonds around the outside, white gold. And I was like, oh, because that's similar to the style that I've seen back home that I quite like. And... I saw it and I was like, oh, tried it on, it actually fit perfectly. So he was like, it's meant to be. I was like, mm -mm -mm, what's the price? Guys, I almost fell off the little stool he put me on. It was almost a thousand pound. I looked at him and I went, oh, is that dollars? He went, no, that's GB pound. I was like, oh, oh, oh. So I said to him, look, I said, I haven't really, I said, I don't want to spend that much. I want you to spend like three, 500 max. And that was like 500 for a ring and maybe 300 for earrings. So I said, well, have you got any like just plain diamond studs? Because I'm thinking I wanted it to be something that I could use and wear all the time. And I thought with the diamonds, I could maybe keep them in my second holes and just have them constantly wearing. And as I say, with the ring, I normally always used to wear a ring and I haven't really got back into wearing rings. And I thought just having the simple one there, I would be able to wear it. 
So he showed me these studs. Like, bear in mind, I just told him my budget. I was like, 500 for a ring and 300 for earrings. And he showed me these diamond studs. And I thought, oh, they're big. Like, good value for money. So I saw a star when it was like, um, it was a cluster, but it was almost it made up like a flower. And I said to him, oh, I said, so how much are these ones? And he was like, £1,200. I said, no, no, no. I said, I wanted a little treat for myself. And I'm thinking like 300 500 is like more than enough for a little treat. But, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, my goodness. So he was like, oh, he's like, we can do a package like, for the studs and both rings. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, I'm going to have to leave it, thank you. He was like, oh. I was like, sorry. I was like, I said the budget. I said, but you kind of, like, you didn't listen to the budget, mate. He was like, oh, and then he showed me some that you could get for 300 And I was like, I know back home we can get them cheaper. Like, I know they say here there's no, like, import tax and duty tax, which makes me think that they put the price up here. So I was like, mm-mm. So I just <laughs> messaged my partner because he said, oh, where's the diamond shopping going? I was like, don't even go there, mate. I'm like, I sent him a picture of the ring and I've just said, Half a carat emerald, quarter carat diamonds, white gold. What do you think the damage is? <laughs> It'll probably be like, hmm? So now I just remembered I quickly need to do the adverts on the adverts on the video. And I've just packed all my hand luggage. You remember that I've got chewing gums in the shop and they're right at the bottom of the bag. I went to the gift shop, got loads of bits and bobs for people. Um, actually ended up spending more than the last bit of cash I had. So I've got 60 quid. $60 on my room account that I can settle off via card, so that's not a problem. I need to actually see, when I got here, they took or like they put a holding deposit of $200 on the card. I actually don't know if that has gone on. I want to see if it's like a pending or something. Because obviously if it is, then they'll just take off what it's for. But I don't know what it would come up against. So, when did I get here? The first. Gatwick, Gatwick. Gatwick. Oh, it must just be like a holding deposit then. So, yeah. So, I got a few little bits. I got there and then I thought, oh. She said, we can put it to her in. There was a really nice photo frame that I wanted. Oh, you've got a bit blurry, Canon. There was a photo frame I really wanted. Canon, are you going blurry or is it my eyes? Maybe my eyes. Um, I really wanted a little photo frame. So I was like, oh, sod it. I've got a photo frame and a little snow globe. Because I didn't want to get too much because we are going to be coming back here. Or are you just misting up? I feel like you're misting up. Let's wipe the air con on. Because it is getting quite hot. So I'm going to quickly dig out my chewing gum. And then have a wee wee and then sort out my adverse. And then Huey will be along to get me at 20 past 10. So I've got 50 minutes. And then I'm off. My transfer is 20 past 11, but they said by the time of like checkout process and everything like that. So yeah, almost the end of the And just like that, I need to check out. Guys, what a journey it has been. God, we are gonna miss waking up to that view, ain't we? We are going to miss waking up to that view. I'm gonna miss having all this space, but I mean, I say I travel light. <laughs> Big case, that ended up, I weighed it, and it actually was 25.3 kilos, which I don't know how, because it was 23.8 going out. I took toiletries out, and all I did was put in some rum. So, uh, I... It's just, it's a nightmare, ain't it? It's an absolute nightmare. So, oh... I've just remembered, I've took the rum out and put the rum in there. But the rum needs to be in the case. No. My case now is 23.4. I'm going to have to undo that case again, ain't I, quickly? Oh, Shannon Lee. Hoodie is on because I'm definitely going to need it when I get to England side. Right. I need to quickly put that rum in there because I've got all my liquids in one bag. But. Oh, am I going to get stopped? Let me quickly read my email from Tui. But yes, next time you see me, I'll probably be in the Diamond Lounge or on the way to the airport. But yes, Jamaica.
Time. Longing for you, we 